Okay, 5 times 7 does not equal 5 to the power of 7. This is a really important rule, but it's also very intuitive, right? So 5 times 7, 35. 5 to the power of 7 is actually going to be like this, right? So 5 times 7, 5 times 5 times 5. This is 5 to the power of 7 over here. 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. Times 5. It keeps going, right? This is no, we're not going to be anywhere near the same value as this. This is 35. This right here, just 5 times 5 is 25. Multiply that by 5 again, you've got 125. And then we have to keep going. Right? So this is clearly going to be far, far, far bigger. Now, this is one of the biggest reasons why I mentioned before, your notation here is going to be really important. If you write something that looks like a 57 or it looks like 5 times 7, that's not going to cut it. Why? Because... 5 times 7 doesn't equal fi you know, 5 to the power of 7, and it obviously doesn't equal 57 either. So all of those things mean very, very different things in math. We've got to make sure that our notation is correct. Keeping that in mind, let's attack the next questions.